Welcome to today's video of Math Strategies Made Simple with Mrs. Braun. Today we're going to look at a visual way to show division with whole numbers and unit fractions. So, let's get started. On what side of the screen, I'm going to be showing a unit fraction divided by a whole number. And on the other, I'm going to be showing a whole number divided by a unit fraction. Because when we divide, the order is very important and making sense of what we're doing is also very important. So I want you to see both of these. So let's start with one half divided by three. So I'm gonna represent one half, I'm gonna put a rectangle down here, and I'm gonna, that denominator two tells me to split this into two equal sized pieces, and the numerator of one tells me to shade in one of those pieces. And so I'm showing one half here on this model. Now it tells me to divide it into three. That means I've gotta split it into three equal sized pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut across here. Now, I've got my three equal pieces, looking at that one half, and I went ahead and stretched it all the way across so I could see what that one piece here would be in relation to the whole. So I've got this one piece, and I need to know what it is in the whole. So my numerator is a one, and there's six equal pieces here. So it's one, six. Now, let's look at three divided by one half. I'm starting this time, my dividend is three, so I've had three whole numbers. I'm gonna draw three holes here. Those as close to the same size as I can. And then I'm gonna split each of them into one half, because that's the size that my holes need to be split into. Now, all I have to do is count the number of pieces that I have. So three divided by one half equals six. All right, let's take a look at another example. Let's look at one fourth divided by two and two divided by one fourth. So over here, starting with one fourth, my dividend is one fourth. So again, I'm gonna represent that on a rectangle. And I'm going to split that rectangle into four equal pieces, because my denominator is four. And I'm going to shade one of those pieces in, because my numerator is one. I'm looking at this piece right here. All right. And it tells me in my problem to split it into two groups, two equal sized groups. So I'm just going to take this line and I'm going to cut it across. Now to find my answer, I need to look and see what one of those pieces represents. So this is one piece out of now eight pieces. So one fourth divided by two equals one eighth. Now let's come over to the other side where we're looking at two divided by one fourth. I'm starting with two holes because my dividend is two. I'm gonna draw my two holes. And my problem is telling me to split each of those holes into one fourth size pieces. So I'm gonna split those holes one fourth size pieces. Line those up a little bit better. There we go. All right. So now I just need to count my pieces. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you could also set these holes side by side and split them up into one four size pieces. I have an example like that in another video, but you could also do it like this. All right, so two divided by one fourth equals eight. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's look at one third divided by six and six divided by one third. All right, starting over here with the one third divided by six. My dividend or my first number there is one third, so that's what I'm starting with. That's what I'm gonna represent. So I'm gonna get my rectangle again. I'm gonna split it into thirds because my denominator is three, so I'm splitting into three equal groups. My numerator is one, so I'm gonna shade in one of those pieces. And then this is telling me to split it into six equal groups. So, split into six equal groups. All right, I'm gonna space those out a little bit better for you guys. Not so squished down there in the bottom. All right, so for my answer, I'm looking to see what one of those 
pieces represent. Okay? So I know that I'm looking at one piece, so my numerator is one. And if I count, there's 18 of these equal sized pieces now. So it's 1 18th of the whole. So 1 third divided by 6 equals 1 18th. Now let's come over here to the other side where I have 6. I'm going to show 6 holes. Alright, again, you want them to be as close to the same size as we can. Alright, but we're still representing them. So I have my six holes, and I'm going to split each of them into three equal pieces. I'm going to line these up a little bit better. Makes a little bit more sense here. Alright, there's one side. And then this one I'm going to pick a little bit. I want you guys to see this a little bit better. Alright, so now I'm just going to go and I'm going to count my pieces. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18 full pieces. Alright, so here's one for you to try at home. I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you again soon.